hello and welcome in this video i am going to review what we have built so far as well as i will tell you what are the things remaining that we will do later so if i come to my git the github repository here this is all the commits i did in the last five year in the last five days ago uh this is i'm a little busy that's why i cannot record video that's that is a little like annoying for me too uh, but if we come here and i will just go through the checklist that in the beginning of the video i said i will cover all of this stuff and i will tell you how what we have done and what we have not and what i'm going to do next oh uh, okay how to use view router with laravel we did this one admin lte font awesome mailchimp no we didn't laravel socialist nope using social nope we didn't using api we did laravel password yes we use laravel password uh, with API authentication something like that and JWT with Laravel passport. Yes, we did it If you don't know what is JWT, it is basically JavaScript web token It means whenever you send any HTTP request with JavaScript and Xuse and Ajax It is going to send a token to your uh, server based on the token You can get authorization for creating new data and uh, like uh, getting new data or updating new data that is what we did with laravel passport so custom events of course when we create a user and database we fire an event and then we we reload the table based on the event that was the custom event in vue.js we use the view forum for the uh, validation and showing the validation errors relational database we didn't x use and ajax we did and i will tell you about we didn't and what i'm going to do about this one and acl of course we did access level control list or level whatever you call it the thing is i i did completely like different approach this is what we need i think and i don't want to go for multiple table and database and doing some complex relational stuff that is good for uh, like big applications not for big application even for big application what we did is also fine it is a uh, quite simple way i did it so online user no we didn't and much more i think we did much more yeah so for the online user of course i will record another video to teach you how you can uh, display online user and of course again i will use some basic technique for displaying online user and i will tell you the good thing and the bad thing about how you do this stuff and coming to relational database i'm not going to cover it in this series but i will create another playlist where i can completely discuss about relational database it is a little like uh, different and level it is a lot easy but for beginner it is a little hard to understand how many to many how to one to many and has many stuff like that how it work and how you can apply it so that's why i just want to create another playlist for this one and i will try to do it in the simplest way possible so that you can understand with a practical example uh, coming to using social media i think most of our application do not need to have a login with social network but if you want there are some good videos on youtube that teach you is like this this stuff the social media but all other stuff i did in this playlist of course most of them are not in youtube that's why i just cover those stuff and uh, as well as the login yeah this both of them are the same actually laravel social it is a package that will let you log in using social media using github using so many resources and mailchimp this is easy i think i don't have to create a video because if you go to mailchimp.com and you can create a form like a sign up form or any form for collecting email address they will give you an html form you can integrate you can put that in your uh, laravel application and just design it and it will collect all the email address when people come and subscribe to your mailing list something like that that is easy and all other stuff of course they are not much more but in our application there are some basic stuff as i said in the beginning this is just uh, it has just educational purpose you don't have to use this one i just want you to understand how these things are going to work that's why i teach you what we have here there are so many uh, like the things we don't need to do or so many things it is not going to work like this because what we did was we wanted to learn something that's why when i was uh, working on this project 
I was just teaching you and some of them I leave as a partial and you can customize it by yourself I just told you how it is going to work plus this name of course I will just change it right now if you want to know some people ask this one how you can change the name here just if you have uh, the basic stuff like that you have to try once by yourself because the application that you create it is completely different than the one I am creating that's why you have to understand that if you want to design something you have to know what you are doing so for our purpose if you want to display the name of the user just come all the way down here you have you can use this dot form dot name and okay here this is view and we will use the bracket this dot form that name for the name and for the title we can say either this is admin or any other person date dot form dot dot type i hope this is type and sometimes i mix the javascript and php yeah it is type save it this time if you come here let's compile it yeah refresh the page it should display the current authenticated user information here so let's see if we did it correct yeah admin 3 and admin here there are so much more we don't have sale we don't have followers for now but maybe in future i i might do that one but for now it is just fine if you have any question again you can freely ask or try it yourself the thing is like this is the way that you can do the day stuff uh, so i hope it has been informative for you and i will record some video about the things which are remaining and you can suggest your suggestion under the video and you can comment what else i have to do i think if it is too much necessary and related to what we are going to do i will do it otherwise you can try it yourself i will help you just ask the question and that's it for this video and in the next video i will fix some of the problems it has so see you in the next video